In this video, um, we're going to finish up um, this uh, demonstration of how to link the um, current user to the specific courses that they've created in, in the model. Uh, so uh, just to follow up from the last video, when I created my migration, uh, I think I specified uh, when I did the scaffold, I think I specified owner as string, and it should have been integer, uh, and that's going to have a, an impact on um, this next part when we do the queries. Um, so you'll want to make sure that uh, you do modify that, um, or if you you're following along, um, what I had to do is go into Postgres and, and make a modification to the table directly rather than um, um, doing it through the migration. So anyway, I um, want to make note of that. Uh, and it should be in the note for the um, in the description for um, the previous video. So uh, so the next piece that we need to do is when we get to um, displaying page two, we want to display the courses, not just um, uh, not just the person's name. Uh, and they're going to be the courses related to what they created. So uh, a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, um, I want to make the list of courses available to the user or to that page. I'm going to create a variable called courses. I'm going to run a query. Um, and so this is an active record query, uh, and it should seem to be something like doing a select all um, in SQL, but we're using active records. Of course, is the the model type, and I'm going to say where um, uh, where owner equals question mark, and then the question mark is going to fill be filled in with current user.id. So this is going to ensure that the courses that we we pull from the database, from the model, are those that match up with whoever the current user is. So we'll put that there. Now how I want to use this in the um, in the page is I want to use Essentially, the same thing that was auto that's automatically generated for the view for displaying all of the courses. So, if we look at index.html, I want to use this table uh, or something like it uh, for the time being. So, it's going to do this thing here where it takes whatever the courses are and takes each one, displays each of those items. So, I'm just going to grab this table. from this, and actually I'll, I want that link to the new course as well. And I'm going to drop that right into page two. Okay. So, if we've done this all correctly, I'm just going to restart the data, uh, restart the system. If I've done this correctly, then let's go to the home first, display courses. So those are the courses that Jane has created. And now I have the link there to be able to add courses to this. Um, so I'm going to add a new course. Let's just say that Jane has taken um, from 100. Introduction to programming. Look at the course. If you go to page two, there it shows the courses that Jane has created. If I log out and have John Doe log in. Wrong. Oh, 
and I display the courses that he has taken. Just this CSE 3100. Uh, let's put design algorithms. Everyone's favorite course, I'm sure. And then display the courses. So there are the courses that John Doe has taken. So anyway, um, these active record queries are a fairly simple thing to use. You see that there. There is a really good link um, to all the different types of queries that you can do with active record. I think for the most part, for a lot of the things that we would do, um, they're going to look a lot like this. I mean, it's basically just show me whatever the objects are, but use um, active record to narrow down the search to something specific to a user. Um, anyway, so there's a number of other ways to, to do um, the different types of queries. Um, but I think this is uh, probably the most basic and probably the most one of the most useful. So anyway, that concludes this video.